Hello everybody, hope you're having a nice day. So Lisa here, um, back to explain a newest pattern. So this pattern is a collaboration of uh, Jazzy Rose Flowers, my new business, which is a flower farm, and also Sew Over It. So for most of you, you'll know that I have left Sew Over It now, and it is in the very good hands of Rosie and the team. But I am also, uh, I've started a new business called Jazzy Rose Flowers. And I really wanted to kind of do a bit of a swan song, one final pattern to leave you with, which is this amazing overalls. So one thing that I found when I was starting my flower farm is I couldn't find something that I felt represented me and was also practical. There are loads of overally type things in the market that you can buy that are great for either men or for women who are... Um, like in a kind of fashion pieces, but nothing that really are super, super practical. So this is what this was all about. I took all the elements of all the kind of boiler suits and overalls that I had been wearing and I put them together in one pattern, this amazing pattern. And I am so thrilled with it. Uh, so I wanted to show you it in more detail. So let me just first step back. You can't really see me completely, but pretty much all of it there. So. There are lots of pockets, as you can see. There's got pockets at the back, pockets here, and pockets here, which is kind of ironic, because if you've been following Sew Over It and me for a lot of years, you'll know that pockets are not something that I normally always opt for. But that's because that's not what I've always needed. And now that I'm doing this new job and running my flower farm, pockets are my friends, and I need lots of pockets. So it was really important though, when I designed it, that the pockets fastened with Velcro, okay? It's really important because when you're bending down, doing things like that, I cannot afford for things to be falling out. But also I wanted to think about sitting down in them and buttons and things can be quite uncomfortable. Also buttons are more of a faff. And trust me, when you really need to get something out, you do not want to be faffing around. You want speed, efficiency, bum bum. Um, and so that's why the Velcro is at the back and the front. And also I like just having that clean line and not having it interrupted with a button. So um, features though about this. So this is obviously meant to be relatively loose um, in terms of fit, because the idea is that you will wear it in the colder months and you can layer up with it um, as well. So I'm wearing a size 10. Um, and you can see it's relatively loose on me. I am a size 10, but that is how I want it. I want to have movement in it and I have movement in it. It's made out of this really beautiful Merchant and Mills fabric that's like a cord, kind of mole skinny sort of fabric that's so lovely and warm and soft to wear, um, but also really practical. And I have been wearing this in the field and loving it so much. In fact, so much so that I've been looking forward to it getting colder so that I can really wear it. So. Um, I, you can obviously, it's got a lovely classic uh, cuff here, but you can wear it with the sleeves rolled up and I think that looks quite nice actually. Um, so let's just roll that up so you can see, like so. Um, I'll do the same on the other side. So there we are with the sleeves rolled up. You can see the collar, see the collar detail like that. Lovely, nice collar. There isn't actually a collar stand in it, uh, no need for that. And then there, it is buttons. The way you get in it is through the button. So it's got a button, but it's with a placket that hides it. Okay, so that's the button placket. And the best feature, I think, I have to show you, which I absolutely love. Because one thing I really like is I like to have my waist cinched in. Now, that's just some a silhouette that I'm used to seeing myself in. And in all the other boiler suits that I was wearing, I didn't really feel like that, or it was too cinched in. It's not as comfortable and loose. I don't want it to be too tight fitting in that way. So the beauty of this one is that, i just undo this. There is a channel on the inside here. And inside, on either side, you have a drawstring that you can pull and essentially cinch it in as much as you want. So it really should have a toggle on there, but I don't think we could get a toggle in time for the shoot when we were making this, but the toggle would mean that you can adjust it more easily. So you can just tie a knot in that. And you can see now I've cinched that in a little bit more and you can push the gathers round. Now it's got one of those on either side, so you can kind of um, adjust it on either side. But I also wanted to show you how I wear it when it gets hot, which seems silly, but this happens if you're a gardener and know what it's like to be out and it's cold at first and then you're suddenly having to work 
hard and you get um, too hot. I've done up too many buttons. And to not <laughs> pull the whole thing down. There we go. And this, I love actually how it looks like this. I'll, I often wear it like that. Now, if in the when I'm feeling like I'm too hot. So I can also wear it with a chunky jumper underneath. This is a lovely M&S thermal, which I really like live in these in the winter. And if I'm feeling too hot, tie it around the waist and there we go. You can also roll these up if you want to. Um, and of course you can make it as a fashion piece. You don't have to be working in a field or in the garden to want to wear this, but you can make it in a lighter fabric. And I have actually got it in a lighter denim, which is good good for kind of earlier on in the season when it's um, kind of not as cold. So that's also a possibility. Now this comes through, comes with in a collection, well it doesn't come with, but it's been released in the collection with other um, bits. And I'm just gonna cut now to show you the two other items that we are launching with this. This is the apron. So it just slips on. There's no fastenings or anything. There's no ties, it's really neat. It overlaps at the back, one size, and it's got these amazing pockets. Um, so I'll show you how to take it off. Ta-da! And how you put it on. <laughs> Probably should have done it the other way around. There we go. So really, really lovely apron, really comfy. And then here is the bag to match. And I've um, got like messy hair now. <laughs> here is the bag to match. So this, we're calling it a hobby bag because essentially you can use it for any hobby. And those of you that knit will probably love it. Those of you that sew on the go, um, you'll also love it. You can put pretty much anything in it. And it basically, um, I use it for going to the allotment. I can just grab all my bits put my various tools in there, lunch in the middle, whatever it is, and there you've got a cute bag. Let's just show you the details. So it's got this six pockets, what, three pockets there, three pockets there, pocket on the side, it is pocket heavy. Um, and then there is also a pocket inside as well. So really, really useful bag and lovely for a present i think both of these i think would be great presents because you don't need to be into gardening or floristry or anything they're just really useful bags to have i mean you could use that for your shopping as well so there we go i hope you like those as well so there's a real kind of collection there that there was the you know we've got the bag and also the apron which i use for my floristry work i use the hobby bag to take down to the allotment when i want to just grab all my bits and then this I'm wearing in the field and pretty much I'll be wearing it all winter long. Um, I need to make myself another one because I really, really just love it. Now in terms of ability, I definitely say this is an intermediate pattern. It's, there isn't anything that is too fiddly fiddly, but it is quite precise. You know, there is a lot of sewing to be done to this. This is a weekend project. It's certainly not something you're gonna whip up in one day, but it is worth it. My goodness, is it worth it? Because it's just, yeah, it's great. And there isn't anything else like it. Trust me, I have looked and I've tried. So anyway, thank you to Sew Over It for letting me do this pattern. Um, and uh, yeah, and for um, releasing it. I think that uh, it's going to be a really lovely one to the collection. I kind of find it really ironic that one, I've designed something as my last pattern. I've designed something with pockets and it's also not a dress. Me five years ago in something like this would not have been the kind of thing that you would have thought I would be wearing. But here we go. How things life surprises you. So uh, don't forget, I should ask, I'm a bit rusty from saying all these things, but don't forget to make sure you share what you make on our um on Instagram, use and tag us at so over at London. Also, please do tag at Jazzy Rose Flowers, which is my new business. And if you want to see what I'm doing over there, you can find me on Instagram I'm at Jazzy Rose Flowers, in the flower fields, in my amazing overalls, and uh, yeah, you can see what I'm up to. Uh, I haven't. The, there will be a hashtag, and I'm going to kick myself for not knowing it now. But also, I'm sure it will come up on the screen. Make sure you share the hashtag as well, and then we can all see everyone's and um, get inspired by them. 
anyway thank you so much for watching i hope you enjoy making these and uh yeah i look forward to seeing your versions